Hey, welcome back, everybody. Let's say hello to John Baptiste. John, how are you? Man, you know, I'm mm. profoundly disappointed, but not surprised. No, same here. Deeply it's saddened. Not. Deeply it's saddened by the events of yesterday. It's, it's something that I hope doesn't overshadow what happened in Georgia. You know, uh, we were going to spend most of last night talking about the historic, A, flip of the state totally, and the fact that Raphael Warnock is the first African-American to represent Georgia ever in the Senate. Yes, that's right. Yeah. The pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church. Yes, that, th this is monumental. This is something that cannot be overshadowed or overlooked in any way. But what happened at the Capitol is so disheartening. I just want to know what that kind of privilege feels like, to the audacity to not even hide yourself. Yeah. What yeah. is that? You know, I have, a, I have a lot of family down in D.C. I'm a, from a big family. A lot of them are in D.C. And a couple of them were down, uh, downtown in D.C. today, and they sent me back a photograph right at dusk of the Capitol building all lit up in the background. Ooh. Always moving on any day. You come around a corner in D.C. or come out of the train station, and you see that Capitol building, it is moving to see. However you feel about the government, whoever's in power, that site, what that represents is incredibly moving to see. But they just sent me a little note to say, we're down here. Just wanted to see if she's okay. She's doing all right. And I think we're going to do all right. But yeah, we've got to keep that to love in our heart for our shared values, our shared yeah, love of right. freedom, and our shared ability to settle our grievances by disagreeing in the ballot box, not with bullets. Mm -hmm. Who gets the most votes wins. That's how it works. We can fight up until the last vote, but after that, we move forward together. And that's it. That's how it works. John, do you have any? Do you have any? Uh, any music for the moment? Well, you know, Georgia was swinging. It don't mean a thing. If it ain't got that swing, <laughs> that's where my mind is at. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> John Baptiste, everybody. Thank you, John. Yes, indeed. Later on, later on. Folks, I spent a lot of time carefully soldering the most topical superconductive circuit boards, crafting the newsiest lightweight carbon fiber limbs, studying human movement patterns, and balancing precision internal gyroscopes to create the cutting-edge state-of-the-art Boston Dynamics robot that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes I like to snort a little bath salts, break into an abandoned Toys R Us, dig through the bin of defective rejects, and glue some busted parts together to create the demented Franken-Furby of news that is my segment. Quarantine wise. Quarantine while. A Harvard professor has claimed in his new book that alien debris passed near Earth in 2017 and that the object actually could have been alien space junk. I don't know. Alien garbage sounds a little far-fetched. Let's take a look at the... Wow! I don't know if it's garbage, but that definitely appears to be someone's junk. Please, have your alien spader neutered. Also, not cool aliens. That is a straight-up interstellar... Penis pick. We're not your galactic booty call, okay? Reminds me of that scene in Arrival. <laughs> the Harvard professor in question, Avi Loeb here, added, and again, he is a Harvard professor. We're probably not alone, and moreover, we're probably not the sharpest cookie in the jar. So either this guy sharpens his cookies, or I'm gonna say he's not the brightest bulb short of a six pack. Quarantine while, a new burp catching mask for cows could slow down climate change, and as someone whose mask has been catching my burps all year, let me just say to the cows in advance, I'm so sorry. 
The masks are designed to reduce methane, a powerful greenhouse gas emitted by livestock. And scientists say the mask has no impact on the animal's behavior and feeding. Are you sure about that? Because that shiny black leather has a real S&M flavor. Make sure Bessie has a safe word. Pumpkin patch. Quarantine while, in celebrity couple news, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are getting a divorce. No, not Kim Ye and Carwestian. Kim, Kim Yesti and Card Washier. They had so much in common. Fame. I think they each had Louis Vuitton submarines, I think. It was a classic story. Boy meets girl. Girl breaks internet with champagne glass on her butt. Boy gets in year-long feud with Taylor Swift. Girl studies for the bar exam. Boy runs for president and gives girl a hologram of her dead father at her private island birthday party during a pandemic. It's a tale as old as time. Quarantine while, the 2021 Grammys have been postponed over COVID-19 concerns, meaning there's still time for them to nominate my spoken word album, 111 Limericks About Hobbit Birthdays. There once was a party for Bilbo. He had enough cake for his fill, though, so he put on his ring and had a hot private fling with his 13-inch long plastic, and I'm being told we can't finish this poem on CBS. Again, do not snub me, Academy. Quarantine while. In the complex world of foreign affairs, Denmark has launched a children's TV show about a man with a giant penis who looks like this. Good God, I found Waldo, and I really wish I hadn't. I don't know which is more inappropriate for kids to see, that this guy has a prehensile peen or that he's using it to dump lighter fluid on a barbecue. Buddy, you're going to grill your wiener. Also, I gotta say, that onesie <laughs> must take forever to put on. The character's penis is so long and versatile that it can perform rescue operations, etch murals, hoist a flag, and even steal ice cream from children. I'm guessing that's a short episode. Hey, buddy, give my kid back his ice cream. You know what, it's all yours. That's good. Jimmy, run. Show's getting a lot of criticism, but one psychologist thinks the concern is unnecessary, saying the character John Dillermand talks to children and shares their way of thinking, and kids do find genitals funny. Just because kids think something's funny doesn't mean it's a good idea for a kid's TV show. Otherwise, the most successful children's show would have been Mr. Rogers Gets Racked in the Sack. <laughs> Quarantine while Jeff Bezos just named a huge rocket recovery ship after his mom, Jacqueline. That's great for Jeff Bezos. Sucks if you're his brother, Mark Bezos. Oh, thank you for putting my name on your giant spaceship boat, Jeffrey. And what did you get me, Mark? Oh, a Yankee candle. That is good. Quarantine while. If you're one of the millions of Americans fighting to stave off financial ruin, you're going to love this. With a net worth of more than $185 billion, Elon Musk is now the richest person in the world, passing Jeff Bezos. Oh, neat! He can put his mom's name on his rockets, and then Jeff's mom's rocket-catching boat can catch them while also catching Jeff's rockets, and they can have a billionaire space rocket boat-catching party, and this country is so screwed. Quarantine while. Japan is seeking to boost its birth rate by funding the use of artificial intelligence to help match lonely hearts. Oh, that'll be a fun story to tell the kids. Dad, when did you know you were in love with Mom? Well, son, I knew when the government robot said so. We'll be right back with Rachel Brosnahan.